Hey again, welcome to another episode of Alum Wake. In the last video, I uh, completed episode 2, which means we're on to bigger, better, and better things. Namely, episode Rose. 3. Sure. Nice girl. We're looking for Rose at the know? diner. I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Sure. She always pays Ow. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Is it? Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. <laughs> well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway... There was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas. I don't know what I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was never allowed to die, so much so that the place came to be called Diamond. In 1970, and Zane went Volcano down the under the lake. Sweet. You walk too slowly. I'm gonna yeah, guess it's this how one. About that? It was there in the morning. Falling from the sky. But it was like a tornado or something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trails. Oh. Nice. So it's this one? Is that what you're saying? Is around here? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Where is it? <sighs> it gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Walter Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. <laughs> the scratching anyway, hag. Now, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died. Breakdown. Why did you go to the bench? Is it that one? Please tell me it's that one. I'm going to do this one anyway. <sighs> well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. Thank you. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. None of your business. To, to, oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes, yes, <laughs> please come in. There's obviously nothing wrong with this girl. Hey, this is really good. It's also poison. Rose. Yes. My manuscript, I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Why do we need oh, muse to inspire Barry. us? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Told you it was poison. Barry. I like being right. What? Actually, I don't like being right. It's usually bad. What? So, sleepy. Oh, I see where this is going. Upskirt shot. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I am slightly concerned for my well being. You must turn the lights on. I can do that. 
so there's no uh, light switches. Really. Back to work, boy. I turn the light on. All good. We're still in that girl's trailer. I felt TV? nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Yep. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She gonna kill she you. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. It wasn't a horror story to start with. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, <laughs> work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. I'll just take the coffee. So handsome. Alright, you stay there. My gun and flashlight were gone. I have a page that wasn't there. I had to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. La 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 la. Get to the car. And when I get to the car, it's going to be like, get Barry to the car. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, you're going to get it now. Why? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. What, what this girl? This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Blaine! Who's Hemingway? My name is Harlem Wake. What are... I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! I hated to leave Barry behind, <sighs> but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Get up, Guess I gotta escape the police. Let me guess, bear traps. Hopefully no taken. See me. I had under y'all. He tried to flashlight me. Aging Mr. Wake. I picked up a certain amount of pages, I guess. Uh, 
그래. 그래. Let's go there. Light, 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 light. Alright, I'll continue this in the next video. <laughs> Leave the annotation in the top right to watch the next video tomorrow. Annotation in the top left to watch previous videos. Annotation in the top middle to watch the playlist of all the Alan Wake videos. Annotation in the bottom left to subscribe. And annotation in the bottom right to go to my channel for more Let's Play videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.